、大阪、道頓堀、ウォーキング・エン・イーディング、14フード・レコメンデーション。Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we'll go on a food tour in Dotonbori, Osaka. We'll introduce 14 kinds of food, including Osaka's famous takoyaki and other dishes popular with locals. To make your trip more convenient, we have included Google Map URLs of the restaurants in the description box. Now, let's get started. We have arrived at Shin Osaka Station. Here's a quick guide on how to get to the Dotonbori area. After getting off the bullet train, take the Midosuji subway line. Enter the ticket gate of Osaka Metro Shin Osaka Station and board a train on line 1. After about 15 minutes, it arrives at Namba Station, which is the closest station to Dotonbori. After leaving the Namba Station ticket gates, head for exit number 14. After going up the stairs of exit 14, follow the signs of the arrow. After about a minute's walk, We'll arrive at Dotonbori. Dotonbori is the most popular area in Osaka for tourists. There are about 140 restaurants in this area alone. By the way, it is very crowded from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., so it is recommended to come around 3 p.m. We introduced 10 restaurants in this area in the video we released last year. In this video, we introduced 14 recommended dishes that couldn't be introduced on that video. In that video, we also introduced Kromon Ichiba Market, which is a popular shopping street in Osaka. If you haven't seen that yet, please check it out after you watch this video. Now, let's go to Dotonbori and enjoy some food. First, we'll introduce two of Osaka's famous takoyaki shops. The first one is Takohachi Sohonten. This takoyaki shop has been around since 1979. It's so popular that people line up to get one in at lunchtime. We ordered the most popular takoyaki at this shop. It's a classic takoyaki topped with sauce, mayonnaise, dried bonito flakes, and seaweed. It has a nice smell of dried bonito flakes. They add soy sauce and Japanese soup stock to the dough of takoyaki. The outside has a nice crispy texture. The inside of the dough is very moist. The store uses a high class octopus called Madako. They also offer takoyaki without any sauce, so definitely give it a try. Next, we'll introduce this store, Kure Olu. It's a popular takoyaki store with a wide variety of menu besides takoyaki. Lots of people line up every day during lunchtime. This store has a wide variety of takoyaki, and we can enjoy many different flavors. This time, we chose the most popular takoyaki. It's a gorgeous takoyaki topped with a soft boiled egg and green onions. There's also a sauce flavor, but this time, we chose the especially popular dashi shoyu flavor. The crispy texture of the dough and the green onions has a nice texture. The mayonnaise is creamy and generously spread on the takoyaki. The inside is soft and melts in your mouth. The octopus is also cut into large pieces, so it is very satisfying. It becomes creamier when it is mixed with soft boiled eggs. Sauce flavor is a standard in Osaka, but we recommend this takoyaki shop for those who want to try a different flavor. Next, we'll introduce this store. Ganso Purinya. 
It's a pudding specialty store established in 2003. There's only one type of pudding on the menu. It's a famous pudding often introduced on TV. This pudding doesn't have caramel sauce, so we can enjoy the taste of the egg and milk. It melts in your mouth. You can feel the natural sweetness of the material, not the sweetness of the sugar. This pudding is recommended for children because it doesn't have the bitterness of caramel sauce. In the Osaka video we posted previously, we introduced pork buns from Gogoichi Horai, which are popular with tourists. But this time, we'll introduce a pork bun shop popular with locals. That is this store, Damino Utaman. It's a store specializing in pork buns established in 1946. While Gogoichi Horai sells from a set of two, But this store offers from a single piece. The freshly steamed dough is fluffy and moist. The size is large and satisfying. There's ground pork and plenty of onions inside. The sweetness and texture of the onions is very nice. The juices from the meat will fill your mouth. The reasonable price is also a nice point. Next, we would like to introduce this store, Honke Otako. This shop was founded in 1972 and is the oldest takoyaki shop in Dotonbori. Takoyaki is also popular, but we'll have another menu item this time. Okonomiyaki is an Osaka specialty that is as popular as takoyaki. It has a nice smell of dried bonito flakes and seaweed. There's pork, cabbage, and octopus inside. The pork is juicy, and the octopus and cabbage have a nice texture. The sauce and mayonnaise give it a rich taste. Love to have a beer! Next, we'll introduce you to this store, Daio Cheese Juenpan Dotonbori. This store has become a hot topic on SNS. And there's a line every day, even before the store opens. This is the Juen bread that many people line up for. The Juen coin shape is cute and popular on SNS. The dough is crispy and filled with cheese. Cheese lovers will love this food. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Kinno Torikara. This is a shop specializing in karaage, operated by a chicken production company established in 1951. This restaurant has 10 kinds of sauces and spices, so we can customize the taste ourselves. First, let's eat it as it is. The karaage at this store is small, so it's perfect for eating while walking around. The reasonable price is also a nice point. The chicken meat is soft and juicy. The karaage is crispy and can be eaten like a snack. From the 10 different seasonings, let's start with the garlic butter. The butter taste makes it taste richer. The garlic taste is so addictive. Next, let's try this spice. The black pepper gives it a more spicy taste. The last one to try. Is the chocolate sauce. Karaage is like a snack, so it's not bad. Actually, it's not delicious, but if you are interested, give it a try. Next, we'd like to introduce this store, Andruno Egg Tart. It's a tart specialty store that came to Japan 20 years ago from Macau. In the video we posted previously, We had the classic egg tart. This is the most popular tart, but we'll introduce two different flavored tarts. The first one is a matcha flavored tart. It's a matcha cream topped with sweetened boiled red beans. It has a nice smell of matcha. The crispy dough and the slightly bitter matcha cream are a perfect match. 
the red beans inside have a nice texture. It's a tart with a Japanese touch. Next, we have a chocolate flavored tart. It's topped with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and cacao powder. There's chocolate cream under the whipped cream. It has a slight bitterness but also has a sweetness to it. We recommend this tart for chocolate lovers. Next, we'll introduce this store, Kabetsuyaki. This store is popular with locals and has seven stores in Osaka and Kyoto. At this store, try the Kabetsuyaki, which is also the name of the store. It's made with flour dough with Japanese soup stock added and cabbage baked together. It tastes like okonomiyaki because of the sauce. There's also an egg inside, so it's very filling. It's a popular dish with the locals because it is affordable and tasty. Next, we'll introduce this store, Rikuro Ojisan no Mise. There are 11 stores in Osaka specializing in sweets, and all of them are so popular that there are lines of people waiting in line every day. All the people in line to buy a piece of this cheesecake. The cheesecake is made fresh in the store and ready to be branded with the logo. This is the most popular cheesecake in the store. The store's cheesecakes use a lot of Danish cheese. It has a nice smell of cheese and eggs. The dough is fluffy and melts in your mouth. The raisins under the dough gives it a fruity and slightly sour flavor. The store also sells forks and knives, so those who need them can buy them together. Next, we'll introduce this restaurant, Kanidoraku. This restaurant specializes in crab with a big noticeable crab sign in Dotobori. In the previous video, we introduced the crab steamed buns, which are so popular that you have to make a line for them. But this time, we'll introduce two other types of menu items. The first food to start with is this ice cream. It is made of milk-flavored ice cream and topped with crab meat flakes. It's a unique ice cream with the smell of crab. The sweetness of the milk and the saltiness of the crab go surprisingly well together. It's a unique feeling that we can feel the texture of the crab as well. The price is slightly higher, but it is worth a try. Next, we'll have this bento. It comes in a set of two types of sushi, a seaweed roll and the crab sushi. Kanidoraku is a high-class restaurant. But the takeout is more reasonable than in the restaurant, so you can enjoy crab casually. After dipping it in soy sauce, let's eat the seaweed roll first. It's filled with crab meat flakes, omelet, and cucumber. The crab has a sweet taste. The texture of the omelet and cucumber is a nice touch. The next one is sushi with crab legs on top. The crab flavor fills your mouth. The texture of the crab leg is so moist that it melts in your mouth. It's nice to enjoy gorgeous sushi in a casual environment. The last store we'll introduce here is Dotonbori Kukuru Minami Store. The main store is located on the main street of Dotonbori, but the lines at the main store are long. So, we recommend this store. Although it is a new store that just opened in December 2022, you can enjoy takoyaki that tastes just like the main store. We recommend takoyaki, but we'll be having yakisoba this time. The smell of the sauce and dried bonito flakes is fantastic. The package is a cute octopus-shaped box. This yakisoba has octopus and pork in it. The octopus has a nice crunchy texture. The noodles are thick and chewy. 
The mayonnaise on the noodles makes them creamy. This dish is recommended for those who like rich taste. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.